Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In the last video, we looked at removing classes and we used the toggle event handler to actually add and then remove a class simultaneously. However, we actually have an attribute called toggle class, which will remove this functionality altogether. I used this example previously because I know it's something that is popularly used to toggle um, elements so when you click for example an image you might want to highlight that image or you might want to add a border around it for example um, our current page looks like this we have some text when we click on it we add the highlight and bold uh, attributes that are found in our style.css file uh, which we've obviously included in our page as well as our class.js however we can remove the need for this toggle event handler altogether so let's go ahead and get rid of this altogether we can then just reference the um, sum text span. So let's say hash sum text. And we can actually then bind the toggle class attribute onto this. And again, with toggle class, you can apply an un unlimited amount of classes. So at the moment, we have highlight and bold. So let's go ahead and in here write highlight and bold. And now when we return to our page, you can see that we have, um, oh, it's not working. Ah, okay, so we need to add um, an event handler for this. Sorry, that's me uh, thinking this was way too simple. Let's go ahead and uh, add an event handler for when we click on some text. So some text dot click, uh, we need to add a function as we've seen before. And then this can just be in here. So when we click on the text uh, on the span, we will toggle the highlight and bold um, classes that are found in our style.css file. So now when we click on it, we get exactly the same effect without actually having to um, use the toggle event handler. So with the, uh, the toggle class um, attribute, we're now going to go ahead and look at a slightly more interesting example. And we're actually going to create an input field on our main page. So this is going to be type of text. And let's go ahead and, well, we don't really need to supply anything else, um, but we do need to supply an ID for this. So I'm just going to call this um, input. Okay, so now that we have this input field, let's go and refresh our browser. You can see that we've just got an input field. Now what I want to happen is when I click on this, I want the background color to change inside of this field um, and we're gonna use the um, toggle class functionality to do this, the attribute in jQuery. So inside class.js, we need to reference um, the, first of all, the focus in and out of this input field. So let's go ahead and say, um, let's go ahead and say referencing this um, field which I've called input um, we're going to say input dot focus so we're going to use the focus event handler inside of here we can go ahead then and add in our toggle so I'm going to say hash input dot toggle class and then we want to um, choose a class so we'll choose the um, well we'll say background color yellow like that because that's going to work for our text field so we've got background color yellow and then that's highlight so toggle class highlight and let's go back to our browser uh, when we click inside of here you can see that it highlights when we move away however it doesn't you can notice that it's just every time we click inside of it uh, so we could then expand on this code so when we uh, blur away from it then we uh, actually um, toggle the class again however this is a quick demonstration of toggle class and uh, how you can combine the add class and remove class um, based on a single action uh, just by using the toggle class attribute. 